You ready for the day, Diesel? It's gonna be a good day. I can just feel it. I can just feel it in the bones. New Brunswick. We're not here all the time, so I'm excited to be here. People are so nice out here, and life is somehow different. It just has a different feel. And it's not bad, it's just different. Like you go into the store, it's not just the language, because everyone here in Northern New Brunswick is still speaking French, just like in Quebec, right? Because Northern New Brunswick is French, but different French than Quebec, they'll tell you. I can't, I'm not really the one to explain that to you, but they speak French here. And then in Southern New Brunswick, they speak English. New Brunswick is the only province of Canada that is legally bilingual, meaning that it they legally have to accommodate both languages. Whereas in Quebec, it's only French. And Ontario, it's just English, but they incorporate French into a lot because it's Ontario and they're right beside Quebec. And then Manitoba has a lot of French population, but we're not constitutionally bilingual. Uh, there's a lot of French people in around my area. Uh, my family uh, are German and our whole area is German, but, but, but we're surrounded by French. French came in, settled along the rivers a long time ago, and then we came in later and settled inland between the rivers. So there's Germans and French and English and Ukrainians and Polish people all in our area there. But the majority of our area is German and then we're surrounded by majority French, and then the rest of the province is all English. So it's it's a whole bunch of mishmash type of thing, but the, the main language of Manitoba is English. Uh, and then Saskatchewan West is just English. The whole country, it's really confusing. I was trying to give you a tidbit of information about New Brunswick and I went off on a rabbit trail, and it's just confusing if you if you try to figure it all out. So I don't know what's going on. If you speak English, you'll be able to communicate everywhere in Canada except for small pockets of Quebec where you'll need to speak French, but everyone speaks English. Anyways, what I was trying to say before I went off on that rabbit trail again, <laughs> it's morning time, I'm excited. New Brunswick is filled with really nice people. Nova Scotia is filled with really nice people. Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, the, the, the east coast of Canada, they're known for their, for their niceness, their politeness, you know, all of their businesses here are very well taken care of. They take pride in their property. It's very nice, but not a lot going on here, so not a lot of people moving into this area. So growth is slow, but the community is tight and strong. So it's a, it's a good place to come visit. I'm excited. Nova Scotia is, uh, the flag of Nova Scotia is actually the inverted flag of Scotland with a crest in the middle, I believe. Nova Scotia, I believe, is Scottish or Celtic, right? For new, new something, new Scotia. I gotta ask my friends in Scotland, Waddy and Tracy, what Nova Scotia means. It, it's something Scottish. There's a lot of Scottish heritage out there. Anyways, let's get trucking. I'm just confusing you all with all these rabbit trails. Off we go. This apparently says no exit. No exit, okay, well where would the exit be then? Let's go on a journey, a quest. A quest to find the exit. I honestly don't, I don't know where it is. It's gotta be this way. How do I get out of here? Hey, still don't see it. Maybe it's around those trailers over there. So I hope you're all feeling well today. Hope you're all doing well. I'm feeling pretty good, got a decent sleep. I slept kind of weird, I guess, on my back. I got a bit of a kink in my back and my neck today. But I'll be fine. Here's the exit. Okay, now which way do I go? This is an exit only. Hang on. Which way, which way? I'm gonna go this way and go around, I guess, after I erect. I don't know if this little strip mall was here last time I was out here. A lot of new buildings popping up around here. In 100 meters, turn right on Gray Rock Road and then turn right in 190 meters. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. I can do that. First, we gotta stop a rent at the line. Correct. All right. There's also a new burger 
King over here, I've noticed. Burger King's been expanding a lot into uh, areas where I stop a lot. I wonder if they uh, have some kind of agenda because I already, I already love their burgers. At 100 meters, turn right on Grey Rock Road. Burger King is my wife's uh, favorite fast food. When we do go to have fast food, we don't go there that often because there is no Burger King at Steinbeck. But when we go to Winnipeg and we want to treat ourselves, that's uh, her favorite place. And it's sort of turned into one of my favorites as well. I don't know. I just like food in general. I don't really have that big of preferences. As long as it's not like super spicy. At the roundabout, take the second exit in 400 meters. Roundabout and what? 400 meters. All right, well, here's the highway. Let's continue on down to Nova Scotia. Gotta go around this silly roundabout first. further obviously I'm not in Nova Scotia yet I want to at least get into Nova Scotia I'm still three and a half hours from my destination and I want to get as close to there as possible so that I can start there first thing in the morning tomorrow because uh, I'm hoping I can get my whole trailer emptied tomorrow 
but we'll see. I have three drops. Uh, two in, I guess you'd call it southern Nova Scotia, and uh, one a little further north. And I have no idea what my reload's going to be yet. But like I said, uh, my wife's got a girls' night coming up with her mom and sister, and I want to make sure that she can go to that. And uh, in order for her to be able to go to that, I got to be home to watch the dogs. That's the first weekend in November, so I got to make sure that I'm home for before that. Because that would just be terrible if she couldn't go because of me. In 100 meters, take the entrance to the left on Highway 2 West RT to Trans Canada Highway St. What are you talking about, Karen? We're going straight. We're going right over here. So they got a Dairy Queen here, they got an Ultramar. And here's the Irving on this side. They always got the big Canada flag. Unless here in Quebec, then they got a big Quebec flag. How do I get in here? Right here, right? Do I need fuel? I should probably fuel. Two kilometers. Turn right on Highway 112. All right, well, yeah, we'll grab some fuel here. Why not? Uh, then I don't have to worry about it later. Apparently there's a pickup in the pumps there for some reason. I'll go to this one. What does this say? Self-serve diesel. Well, is there any other option? I've never heard of full-service diesel at a truck island before. Wouldn't that be cool, though? Oh, this pump doesn't have DEF, though. I don't need DEF today. I'll just get diesel. Get DEF tomorrow or the next time we fuel, right, diesel? Got my trusty shoehorn here. Help me get my shoes on. Otherwise, they get wrecked. It's always my right shoe that gets wrecked the quickest. I don't know. If you use one of these, the back always gets wrecked, right? Whatever. Random thought for the day. Okay, so Irving. Same fuel card as we use at Flying J, for me anyway. I just don't have a points card for here. I've really got to train you how to pump the fuel, man. Wouldn't that be cool? Right. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the satellite. Were we supposed to come in the other way? Usually the main pump is on the driver's side. Where am I supposed to put the... I don't think I'm supposed to use this pump. Look, they have hand sanitizer right at the pump. That's nice. All right, well, I'm gonna go around and uh, go to a different pump then. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where the... Put in your card here. Oh well. Let's go to a different one then, I guess. Sometimes they have uh, one or two pumps that are like just for RVs and stuff that aren't for trucks per se. I don't know if that's the case here, but whatever. Oh, there's a guy parked right in the middle of the driveway over here. This is gonna make it kind of tight to get around here. Dude, why are you parked right in the middle of the driveway? Literally. Why would you do that? At least I can still get around him. Some people. Some people, man. Alright, let's try a different one. That pickup is still in that one. What in the world's going on here? All these guys are just parked in the pumps. Oh no, there's DEF is in that lane there, I see. Oh, this is confusing. Fueling lane only. Okay. Well, this one has a card reader, so... At least I know I can get diesel in this lane. All these other guys are inside. They're not in their trucks. They left their trucks in the pumps. No idea what's going on here. But again, they have the satellite on this side. At least they got a, a card reader here, right? Here we go. See, it's just like the Flying J's.
I don't know why it's giving me an option for DEF. There's no DEF on this pump. There we go. All right, we're all fueled up, all juiced up. Gotta go to the back of the parking lot here. Timmy's is like way back there. Way back there. Let's see if we can go find a parking spot over there. So I think we're gonna go to the Enfield Irving 24, Irving Big Stop. Hopefully there'll be parking for us when we get there. We're gonna be there at about 10.30ish, 10.45. It's the closest truck stop to Halifax. Border checkpoint at Nova Scotia too. Huh, oh the Maritimes still got all their border checkpoints up. It's the only place I've seen these anywhere. I think I just gotta go over the scale and they'll let me through. Can't believe they built like permanent, permanent border crossing check stops. Like, this was only supposed to be 15 days to slow the spread, I thought. Okay. still that uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia both still have these border checkpoints set up. Even Quebec took theirs down. You see the wee little lights on the highway ahead? There's Nova Scotia asking for your money. They said, hey, we're glad you're here. Give us your money. We gotta pay to get in and pay to leave. I go. I hope that they accept uh, cards. They used to be cash only, I think. Tap or cash. Okay, good. I think it used to just be cash. I'm not sure. Maybe it always... I don't know. Some of these tolls are just weird. I wish we had something like Easy Pass up here. It makes it way easier. It's $3 per axle, and I have five axles. Got a uh, visa here. Did I find it? Is that my visa? That's not visa. Ah, where is it? There it is. Thank you. You too. Fifteen big ones! And another fifteen big ones on my way out tomorrow or the day after. Thirty big ones just for coming to visit them. I guess they don't like me. They're like, sure, Trucker Josh, you can come visit, but you're gonna have to give us your money. Come on, and give you the shakedown. Uh, how do I get in here? Entrance. I took the scenic road by accident. Uh, could have just stayed on the 102, but Karen took me down Highway 2 for some reason. Residential, well not residential, but like, obviously through town. You have arrived at your destination on the right side. It's actually on the left, Karen. What are you talking about? Okay, I hope there's parking for us here. It's a pretty big truck stop. I think there's one over there to the right, but I'm gonna have to swing around line myself up for it. There's nowhere else to really park that I know of on the way down to where I'm going. Oh, yeah. Another day behind us. Oh, so we're in, uh, oh, where are we? Oh, I just, I just looked at the map. Where are we, Diesel? I knew this. We're in uh, Enfield. Is that where it is? Is that what it's called? Enfield Big Stop. Enfield, Nova Scotia. We'll stop here probably just for our minimum eight hours. 
and then I'll be off. I've got to go deliver uh, near Halifax tomorrow morning and then come back to this side of Halifax and then go up north uh, to northern New Brun uh, Nova Scotia. I think I have, th well, I know I have three drops. I think I can get them all done tomorrow. I'm not sure. Hopefully, if we get started early enough, maybe it'll work out. But if not, then we'll finish up on Tuesday. And I'm guessing I'll probably have a reload out of northern New Brunswick. That's what I usually haul out of this region. And uh, that could either be going back into Ontario or down south. We shall see. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. Tomorrow is going to be an exciting day.